Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to take a look at this Razor Chain Whip and actually see if it's a legitimate weapon. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So if you would have told me a year ago that I'd be making these Weapons Wednesday videos every week, I would have thought you were crazy. You know, about a year and a half ago when the pandemic began, uh, we had Ian and Corbin doing our YouTube channel and they did an incredible job. If you've been following our channel for some time, you probably saw some of their videos and both of them are extremely talented, uh, very funny. Um, but they both left the company when the pandemic began and uh, we had to figure something out. So I just kind of grabbed a camera and started shooting video of me sitting at a table showing off weapons. And uh, if you go back to the very first ones I made, they are absolutely terrible. And there was one video in particular, I think it was called Hidden Weapons That Could Save Your Life, where it was after work, all the employees had left, and then I just recorded a video where I walked around the warehouse and just showed off different weapons. And then I had to run to the post office and was sitting in line at the post office and just edited the video right there, uploaded it to YouTube, didn't think much of it. And then uh, I don't think there were any more videos after that for a while, but like three or four months later, I all of a sudden noticed that the Hidden Weapons video had gone viral. And so I finally watched it on YouTube and realized just how bad it was. Like, because I had edited it in my car, um, the voice doesn't match up with the video. It's just a terrible, terrible video, so don't go back and watch it. It just it makes me feel bad just watching those old videos. But because that video went viral, we started doing more of these videos, and since then I've tried to record one every week for Weapons Wednesday. And I think they're slowly getting better and better. Um, we're starting to use more editing software, less of my phone. I just wanted to mention briefly that we just finished our busy season and uh, we're going to be taking a little bit of time off. So um, there won't be a video released next week, but we will have one the following week after. It's just I need a little time to rest, to be completely honest. Um, but in this video, I just wanted to show off really quick this Razor Chain Whip and see if it is actually a legitimate product. So let's take a look at that really quick. So this is the Razor Chain Whip. And I went ahead and hung it onto the wall using the included wall hanger. And I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. If I were to describe this weapon, I would actually describe it as a wall hanger because it's clearly a fantasy weapon that could not be used for any sort of self-defense purposes. But let's take a closer look at it. First off, it's roughly 44 inches long, and these blades are really menacing looking, but if we look closely at them, they're not even sharp. They're made out of a stainless steel that has not even been sharpened. So I was actually a little bit concerned about swinging this thing around, but now that I know they're not even sharp, it doesn't worry me at all. But, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to test our stuff out, and I wanna see if I can actually break this thing so let's go ahead and take it outside and just try to put it through some damage. Okay, so I guess my first question is, how would you even use a weapon like this? Like, do we just kind of swing it around and then strike like that? Or do we kind of swing it backwards and strike like that? Um, I'm actually not even sure because the handle is a little bit rigid. It doesn't spin very well. Um, and the blades don't really spin either. So you're kind of limited to what you can actually do with it. Um, I wouldn't want to strike myself too much. It doesn't really hurt. It seems like, yeah, see it's stuck onto my shirt. So that makes it difficult to use in that respect, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, so I guess let's, let's first start by trying to strike just a cardboard box and see if we can even damage the cardboard box with this thing. Okay, so first I grab this cardboard box here and I'm gonna try striking it from the side. So let's just see. All right, so obviously I was able to get some force out of this thing, but I don't see any markings as far as like what the blade did to it. I mean, you can kind of see that it, it just tapped it. I mean, it, it was more of a blunt force instrument than an actual bladed instrument. So, I mean, as far as that goes, that's pretty much useless. Um, let's see, let's see, maybe, maybe we can uh, like, that wasn't bad but I think we can do a little bit better. Let's actually give it a good, there we go. Okay, so that sliced in pretty nicely, but it was one of those things where it had to be like, 
the exact right spot on the blade to actually stick through it. So honestly, I feel like I just got lucky with that strike. I don't feel like this is something where you could actually get good with it and make it a valid weapon. Um, but let's try it on something a little bit harder than a cardboard box. Okay, so the cardboard box was fun, but I actually want to try to break this thing. So we're going to use it on this pellet over here and see if it'll actually hurt the pellet or if this thing's just going to break in half. So let's try the whipping again, see how the whipping goes. So, I mean, it's actually taking little chunks out of the wood, so that's a good sign. Let's, uh, let's try it some more. Actually, I mean, look, it actually chopped right into it. So maybe it's not as bad of a weapon as I thought. I want to break this though. So let's, uh, let's try it even harder. Right. Took a chunk out there. I'm actually, <laughs> I thought this thing was going to break right in half. So I'm impressed by what it's been able to do so far, but we need to break it. I mean, maybe I can't break it. <laughs> maybe it's gonna be okay. Ah, there, I just heard a piece fly off into the parking lot over there. So what broke? Okay, gotcha. All right, so we can see that it started to break right there. It's clearly breaking apart up here. The end of it broke off. Um, but it held up so much better than I expected it to. I'm actually really surprised by that. Um, but this is clearly only a fantasy weapon. I would not try to even learn this for any sort of self-defense purposes. Still kind of cool though, right? But if you have any questions on this item or any of the other weapons on our website, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks for another Weapons Wednesday.